Here's a quick shot of the uh, limit assembly for the SL3000 and I checked the switches to make sure the switches feel good uh, and I've already checked them and then I lubricate the shaft and with these uh, shafts you want to make sure that it looks wet because most likely if it is wet it uh, has lubricant on it and then while the operator is turned off you know you could check the uh, the stability of the bearing and the collar for the shaft and check the stability for the bearing on the outside but it doesn't really get any better than that this operator is uh, uh, it looks like 2012 is when this uh, operator was made so that's not bad it's got four years for four and some and some change on there and one of the ways the main way to keep this thing clean and keep that lubricant from grabbing any extra debris is to make sure that this uh, housing is on there and uh, it, uh, it's something that you need to carry with you for service just have an extra one of these as you can see I could barely put it on the other thing is is the the lubricant uh, this is Lucas, and I use a lot of Lucas products, but uh, this one is uh, uh, lithium-based white grease, and you can get this at uh, Home Depot, and that's typically what most manufacturers recommend for their, uh, for their uh, limit shafts.